Hi, my name is Stefano, and welcome to ABTV News, where we cover the latest political and world events. Here are the headlines for this week. Wrong baby cremated after Sydney Hospital mix-up. Mexico Federal Police Chief Galindo fired over Michoacan Ranch killings. Curfew lifted in parts of Indian and Minister Kashmir. A deceased baby was cremated in Australia despite the parents wanting a burial after being incorrectly identified by a hospital staff. Two babies, one stillborn and one miscarried, were mixed up at Sydney's Royal North Shore Hospital last year because a blanket obscured an ID tag. The incident follows a deadly newborn laughing gas mix-up at another Sydney hospital. New South Wales Health Minister Gillian Skinner apologized for the incident. She told a budget estimates committee, I'm devastated for them and I'm really sorry that such an incident occurred. A spokesman from the opposition Labour Party said Ms. Skinner should be sacked to restore public confidence in the health care system. However, Premier Mike Baird has stood by the embattled health minister in the wake of the hospital incidents. Mr. Baird said Gillian Skinner continues to do a good job in very difficult circumstances. Mexico's federal police chief Enrique Galindo has been fired following allegations police killed at least 22 suspected members of a drug cartel. The killings are thought to have taken place last year on a ranch in the western state of Michoacan last year. President Enrique Peña Nieto said he had dismissed Mr. Galindo to allow for a transparent investigation. Earlier this month, Mexico's National Human Rights Commission accused police of tampering with evidence. One police officer and 42 suspects were killed in the raid on a ranch in Tanjuato in May last year. Officers said they had returned fire in self-defense, but the high death toll aroused suspicions. The Human Rights Commission report accused police of planting guns on some suspects and moving bodies to bolster the official version that all the deaths occurred during a gun battle. Mr. Galindo and National Security Commissioner Renato Sales have denied anyone was summarily killed and insisted officers use necessary force against highly armed criminals. Police used a Black Hawk helicopter during the operation, reportedly firing some 4,000 rounds into the ranch, known as the Rancho del Sol. During the initial assault, investigators found the helicopter itself was hit by gunfire. In its report, the CNDH asserts that five suspects were killed in the helicopter attack, 22 were arbitrarily killed, and 15 died in unclear circumstances, along with 22 bodies being burnt by police and two suspects were tortured in custody. Authorities in Indian and Minister Kashmir have lifted a curfew in many parts of the Muslim-majority valley after more than 50 days. The curfew was imposed after an upsurge of violence since July 9th, caused by the killing of a popular militant leader, Burhan Wani. More than 60 people, mostly young men, have been since killed in clashes between protesters and security forces, and thousands more have been injured. Police say the 51-day-old curfew has been lifted from most parts of the valley, except in the Palwama district and some parts of Srinagar on Monday. Prime Minister Narendra Modi said on Sunday that those inciting violence in Kashmir will be held accountable one day. He said, if any life is lost in Kashmir, it is our loss, a loss of the people and our country. India considered Wani a terrorist, but for many locals, he represented the spirit and political aspirations of a new Kashmiri generation, correspondents say. Indian officials say he was instrumental in persuading local boys to take up arms. The state government says it will investigate reports of excessive police violence towards unarmed protesters. The last bout of serious violence in the region was in the summer of 2010, when more than 100 people died in anti-India protests which broke out after police shot a teenager dead. This is ABTV News and these have been the headlines for this week. I'm Stefano, and keep watching American Bollywood TV.